What a camp that, that was our base camp for yeah. where we were for uh, a little over a week. Was, seems, um, seems like a dream. I love like, this photo. It was. And, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's for me, it's kind of like a dreamy photo. It, it, um, it shows so much as far as what we were doing, what we were trying to ski, where we were in this magnificent place amongst these, these huge mountains. You know, those, those, you know, like I said, those, those peaks back there, I mean, they're, they're like the size of uh, El Capitan, you know, and they were just stacked mm -hmm. amongst each other as far as the height and the granite and, and, the, and yeah. all the ice in the, in the snow and the coolers that we were skiing. <clears throat> Beautiful. Wow. There's your signature into the sun. Yeah. Like, I love that. Look, I mean, I'm the same way on that. I mean, tell us a little bit about like some of your settings um, and, and shooting some things like this, because I'm, I'm guessing it's a little bit higher of a um, aperture to kind of give you that like, yeah, you know, so, flare and that depth and just talk a little bit. So people that don't quite understand um, what it goes into capturing an image like this with such a perfect sun flare. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, setting number one, I could pull up exactly what this was, but setting number one is gonna be your ISO. And um, even though cameras, digital cameras now are so amazing, you can set your ISO to like 2000 and they're still great. I, yeah. I kind of come from that old school mentality where I shot film for so many years where my ISO was always 50 or a hundred, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, in, in the early days of digital cameras, you always wanted your ISO as low as you can for the image quality. And I, right. I still find myself <laughs> shooting as yeah. low as ISO as possible, yeah. you know, and when are I, scary I on the myself. ISO. Yeah. And I need it's to remind scary. myself, you know, I don't need to worry about so much. I could just crank the ISO, but I, I still kind of have that, uh, that old school, uh, mentality of, of, of yeah. low ISO. So that's yeah. first, yeah. um, Secondly, if you're going to shoot a lens flare like this, obviously you got to stop down your aperture. And I'm looking at this. This image was shot at uh, f14, so f14 is going to give you that beautiful star. Um, and it was shot at 1 60th of a second, which uh, for shutter speed, that's pretty slow for any kind of action. I don't normally shoot action at 1 60th of a second unless I was, you know, fast moving mm -hmm. trying to motion blur something. Yeah. But as you can see, she's on a paddleboard. She's moving really slow. So yeah. I was able to freeze her at 1 60th of a second. Nice. And the ISO was 400. So I, I think that's kind of why I, I, you know, shot it at 1 60th of a second. If mm -hmm. I had my ISO at like 2000 mm -hmm. at F14, I probably could have shot it at like, you know, 1200th of a second. But right. I, you know, kind of had old school mentality. Cool. And, and this image is something I don't do too often. Um, but I actually had a, a, a split neutral density filter. To darken okay. the sky, you know, wow. and it was just a uh, clear blue sky. The sun was setting. So the sky was so much brighter than the foreground. Mm -hmm. So I uh, put the neutral density, the split neutral density down there. And you can kind of see that's a little bit dark on the tops of mm -hmm. some of those peaks. Mm -hmm. So that's just the nature of the filter. And uh, that allowed me to, to stop down the, the, the sky several stops to kind of even cool. out the exposure. Beautiful. Great shot. Thank you. That is so. This is funny. The, the, the photo you just showed mm -hmm. is this exact same location. So okay. the, the story behind these two, if you go back to that other one, yep. Um, I had posted uh, this on Instagram, Sorry. you know, and got a lot of you got you know got a lot of traction and you know people liking the photo and you know a lot of engagement. And then go to the next one. So one of the comments was uh, this guy who happens to be a professional skier. Uh, who spends uh, part of his time in Mammoth training, you know, and traveling because he skis professionally. He happened to be in town and he's like, dude, I want to go jump off one of those icebergs. Let's go out and, 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 and shoot a photo of me diving into the water. And I'm like, yeah, you, you know, it's only like, you know, a half hour from my house. I'm like, yeah, I think you're nuts to go dive into this water, but let's go do it. It'll be super fun, yeah. you know? So uh, this guy, uh, Tyler Wallace, he, he's a great guy. We, uh, ended up, you know, like three or four days later, we drive up there and uh, we've got my paddleboard, that same paddleboard. And the two of us on the paddleboard, I would, you know, with the camera around my neck is super wobbly. Uh, and we're, I'm like, you know, paddle him out to this little floating iceberg and he would get off and then dive into the water. And uh, we sat and, you know, did a few shots of him jumping into the water. I think I was from the shore with a longer lens. And then he did it a few times. I'm like, let me put on the, the wide angle, the 16 to 35, mm -hmm. and get super close and have you just jump right in front of me. Ooh, I love it. And sure enough, he did. And, um, you know, there's that one moment, you know, we let, it yeah. the, let the water get totally calm. 
you dove in and it, it looks like a over under. It does. Yeah. It's I'm actually above the water of him going in. Beautiful and the funny time. thing was, this is probably three years ago. I, you know, after I took the photo and all the crazy things I've done, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to post this tomorrow. And I'll go, it's probably going to be my most liked photo on Instagram. <laughs> sure enough. It, to this day, I think it's my most liked photo on Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, was like, hang on. Of course. Right. You know, but <laughs> right. It's, uh, it, was, it was super Funny fun. And it works. Just, yeah. It's just kind of a testament to, to social yeah. media and how, how that plays a, uh, a, a critical role in what we do right now, you know, is, is Absolutely. social media and, and having to embrace that, you know? Absolutely. I mean, essentially we went and shot that photo, just, you know, Oh, it's good. It'll yeah. be fun for social media. Let's do it. And we did it. <laughs> this is pretty dreamy. What a reflection. That is just too perfect. Yeah. So this, um, this is, this photo was taken close to, close to where I live in June Lake on a little stretch of the river. It's more like a canal. And, um, I, I, I paddle there on a paddleboard all the time with my kid and we fish there and we have a ton of fun and tons of memories. My son's eight now and we've been going there for the last like four years on paddleboards. And uh, this is a good friend of mine. Um, Scott Flint is a professional uh, fly fisherman guide and a super great guy and someone who I've uh, hung out with a bunch and take fly fishing photos of him. And um and I was like, hey, I got an idea for the shot. You know, this this location, it's it's gorgeous. The fall color, it's just beautiful. Let's go early in the morning. The water would be perfect. And, and naturally, cool. he was game. You know, we met cool. in the morning when it was still still dark out, driving yeah. to this spot. And then I paddled across, and he set up. And then, you know, eventually the water turned into the perfect mirror. And um sun's just starting to rise. And I think same thing here. I think I had that neutral density filter on because it was so much brighter above. Beautiful. Uh, Great use yeah, of too, it. Too bright, too bright to to do it in the camera. I, I maybe nowadays you could just stop it down and then just open up the open up the shadows. But um, kind of mm -hmm. that old school mentality, you know, capture it right mm -hmm. in the camera. Oh, well, I like and, that um, too. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, we we got this, and obviously a bunch of other images, but this is the one that kind of stood out, you know, just compositionally. And uh, like you said, it's kind of just like a, a dreamy. Yep. Kind of like that dreamy shot, you know? Yep. Absolutely. Wow. All right. So this is a cool one. Okay. Um, so that's me in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's why I put it in there. It's, yes. Uh, it's so that's no my, it's way. My, it's my selfie. Um, I love it. So it's, uh, it's kind of sums up what photography, you know, mm. is all about mm -hmm. as far as, you know, just as you can attest, just going out by yourself, not when you're not working and just capturing a beautiful sunset, a beautiful sunrise, or, you know, just shooting on your own for it because mm. you love to do it. And it's important to still, it's important to still do that kind of stuff because, you know, mm -hmm. photography is work. And at times, yeah. you know, when you're super busy working commercial work, it's just work, 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 work. And, yeah. and many times you put the camera down and you just don't even touch it because you're just mm. like, it's, my job i don't even want to do it so it's mm -hmm. it's nice to have these uh personal passion projects and stuff just to I keep agree. things fresh and, and creative you know yep so this kind of brought me back to you know be, being when i was younger just going in the mountains and shooting beautiful photos and and i've uh recently i've gotten into road biking it's a great way to stay in shape and it's really good road biking where i live cool and i would ride this section in, uh, in the mountains kind of high up in the mountains and i was like all right this is gonna be a, you know this is a great place to shoot a photo mm -hmm. and I, I had this vision in my head from from going here and road biking there going this would be a great place but it needs to be that perfect sunset when the sky turns orange which happens yeah you know once or twice every you know every few weeks and the flowers were the wildflowers were blooming and i actually called up a buddy and i'm like hey i want to do this photo of you let's you know and he's like oh i got work and i don't know if i can pull it and, and you know he's kind of like oh, i don't think i can do it and i'm like oh, no worries you know no pressure mm -hmm. and i'm like screw it. And I saw the clouds were building and I knew this was the day it was going to just blow up the sunset. I just kind of, kind of had that gut feeling, you know, it was the, the signs were there. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to go do it and shoot myself. <laughs> grab my tripod. I grab my pocket wizard remote triggers, grab my big strobe flash and put it up on the hill. And, uh, you know, here I am in my spandex and my little my road bike shoes running up and down the hill, adjusting the light and, and getting everything dialed and shooting photos of myself and then riding back up and looking at the back of it and recomposing. 
And finally, I got everything composed just right. And then all of a sudden, boom, the sky just started exploding, you know. And yeah. Then, uh, sure enough, I'm back down there, you know, taking pictures of myself and uh, ended up getting this this image. And um, it's just kind of the backstory of it. It was just, you know, brings me back to just the fun in photography. and Absolutely. Just going out and just just take a camera and just just having fun with it, you know. You, you know, we need that, and we, and we need that creative because you know, as photographers and being as creatives, you know, you shoot the commercial work, you shoot the assignments, and do those, and you add your creativity. But you're right; sometimes you put it down, and you're like, you, you need that kind of spark to keep it going. Um, you do and to realize like this is photography. You're probably out there laughing to yourself, having a great time, seeing this color explode. Knowing what oh, yeah. you're capturing and doing and just being like, this is why I shoot. This is why I yeah. do. And to combine your passion of like road biking and then your photography, it's like even more so you're probably just like, this is, you know, it, it's so good. I love those moments like those that really just is like, you go home with that smile and you have it for days of just remembering, oh, you know, yeah. this is why. And then you get to edit it. And then even more just like, this is why we do what we do, man yeah no that's exactly it you know and it's uh it's important to to do things to keep it fresh you know absolutely um you know keep the absolutely. keep the creative juices flowing you know and yeah. i'll admit it you get in ruts you know uh, absolutely you kinda, you it out and it's you gotta you know not reinvent yourself but just uh nope, nope. just keep that passion going that try keep it going yeah yeah what, what you know, unfortunately oh sorry I, I was say, fortunately, I live in a place in the mountains. Kind of, you can uh, you can relate to. You live in a you know in a beautiful place mm -hmm. where all you got to do is walk outside and be like, if I can't get creative with this, yeah, it's something you know. So I've got reminders daily of you know beautiful sunsets and you know good lots of fresh snow to go out and, and, and do fun stuff and be creative. You know, good, that's great. Which it's is important. You know, that's absolutely. a big reason why I, I live where I live and you know don't really have any desire to to move elsewhere. You know, good. Uh -huh. I'm glad. Me too. I'm pretty happy here, home in Hawaii. Yeah. What, what what light source are you using in the shop before we click over? It's a uh, Elm Chrome Strobe. Elm Chrome. It's one of those new fancy. Uh, I think it's called the ELB twelve hundred. Nice. Super fancy. Nice lights set up on the hillside to the right. Just beautiful. Putting a beam of light down on me. Yep. And, and, and it was just. It's kind of tricky too, because uh, I mean, if, if you've used strobes and lights to. to I had to use two sets of pocket wizards, one to trigger the camera, and then another one to trigger the light. You can't just go one to the camera, you right? Know, get it all to sync up. So it's like I'm, you know, I'm in the field. I, I'd known this because I'd done it before, but I was kind of, you know, trying to like calculate everything, get everything to work. So um, there's a little bit of technical work to, to pull the shot off too, which I'm, I'm not much of a technical guy, but but I make it work when I need to. <laughs> it looks it looks great. It looks really great. Thanks. So this I threw in. Um, that's my son. I think he's like nice. six, six in that picture. Nice. And it's just, you know, it's in our backyard. And it was uh, you know, in the summertime. And I saw the clouds building up, you know, and you could see it was kind of clear to the west or it was, you know, patchy to the west. And I was like, I think it's going to be an amazing sunset. And I grabbed my wife and my son and the paddle boards. And we went out to this little uh, kind of like lake pond thing just, just down the road about 10 minutes away. And um, mm -hmm. and the light started going. And I'm like, let's just go out there and paddle board. And, you know, he has a fishing pole with him, too. And he's obsessed with nice. fishing. I got a few shots of him kind of casting the reel and, and paddling around. And, uh, yeah. Special so I, you moment. Know, yeah. For me, you know, I, I, I yeah. shoot a lot with my son. But, you know. He's got a, a photographer, a father who's a photographer. So <laughs> right now, every time I pull out that camera, he's like, "Put it away! I don't want to." <laughs> I'm more of a nuisance with the camera, you know. But, yeah. Uh, he, he appreciates it, and you know, when he gets older, he'll look back he, at these and really. He will really later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Having all those. Moments, right now, he's in his own. He's in his own little world. So. All right. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Between Sets. Make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes. Thank you.